Uh-huh. That's a lot of books and it's very heavy and I'm going to drop it. Hey everyone, it's Aradna. It's more than halfway through the year and I was going through my books to see which, one I, which ones I wanted to read and then I realized I had a whole bunch of books that I've owned that I haven't read yet. So I thought I would do a 9 books I want to read in 2019 video and yeah, I don't read that fast but hopefully I will get to these books this year. Hopefully. I did do a post about series that I own that I haven't finished yet. I'm not including those books in this video. I still haven't finished those series, so I'm not talking about them, but I'm not talking about them in this video. I will link the blog post if you're interested and you can give me the thoughts, your thoughts on whether or not I should prioritize them in 2019 or whether I can leave them for 2020. Okay, in no particular order, these books most of them, actually, were gifts. Most of them, some of them. Out of the nine, I think at least half of them were gifts. People know me really well and they know I appreciate books. Let's start. The first book is The Complete Works of Jane Austen. Now, I don't plan to finish the complete book this year I have only read Pride and Prejudice because I did it for my O levels, A levels. It was either year 10 or year 12, I do not remember. I have read that a lot of times. So I have been reading Persuasion for a while. It's been taking me a while because I do not open this book very often. I cannot travel with it. It is huge. So I am hoping to finish Persuasion this year. And then next year I will read maybe the next one that's in the book. Or maybe I'd read Sense and Sensibility first because that's the one I am dreading the most. The first book that I do want to try and finish this second half of the year is Persuasion. The next book that I want to read, hopefully this year, hopefully 2019 will be the year I finally pick it up. This was sent to me by Dana. Dana and her book, from Dana and her books, The Extinction Trials, my Crone bloggers say that this is a really good book, we were all supposed to read it, I couldn't get my hands on it locally and Dana offered to send it to me, which she did, and it was, she's amazing, but for some reason I still haven't read it yet because there have been so many other books coming out and I just keep putting this off. So now it is on my TBR for the second half of the year. I should hopefully be starting this maybe after I finish Wilder Girls because I can travel with this. And that's a very big draw for me because we do travel for prayers a bit. I can fit this in my bag so even if I'm just running errands I can take this with me and then read. That's huge. So. I've heard good things about this, it's got dinosaurs, and I am excited to read it. The next book I'm talking about is one I picked up for myself. This is Lost Stars by Claudia Gray. I really enjoy Claudia Gray's writing, but even though I've owned Lost Stars since it came out, actually, I have not read it yet because I went through a phase where I was really disappointed with the new Star Wars movie. And while I'm looking forward to the next one, I am still unsure about whether I'm going to read this first or maybe leave it for 2020 or near the end of the year. This is on my list for 2019, but I wouldn't be so disappointed if I read it in 2020. I do know I don't want to leave it longer than that because I hear there are more books coming out. Not necessarily by Claudia Gray, I do know she does have a Princess Leia one that I want to read, so I want to read this first before going to that. I have to find that book. But yes, for those of you that do not know, I am a huge Star Wars nerd, and 
I miss the extended universe that was existing before the new trilogy started. But I'm also looking forward to reading the books that come out from this new alternate timeline, Star Wars. That's what I'm going to call it, the extended universe and this new alternate timeline where the movies are taking us. Okay, I've heard a lot of good things about the next one, especially recently because it never clicked first, but the Palace of Illusions is about the is based on the Mahabharata and I am fascinated with that myth. So I think I'm finally going to start this in July when the Indian lit readathon is going on. Maybe I will start it a little earlier and still count it just towards the readathon because I never read so much within two days. So I'm just going to take a couple of weeks in July and read a bunch of Indian books. This is on the list for that and I'm hoping to love it because I also do want to write a story about Draupadi and maybe this will help me understand her more. Another book that I did not mention, The Palace of Illusions was given to be to me by an uncle and his wife gave me another book for a secret Santa gift sometime after that. My family knows me really well and they all do get me books. If you look at my bookshelves you will find a lot of books from cousins and uncles and aunts and a lot of books that I buy using money they give me for my birthday or my anniversary because they don't want to get me books I already own or books that they don't, they think I want. They books that I won't like. This next book I picked up for myself when I was in, in India. When I was in India a few years ago, before I got married, actually I've read one book from this series. It's not a series, but it's the same author. I picked them up at the same time. I've read one of those books, The Zoya Factor, which was hilarious and cute and I hear it's being made into a movie so I'm looking forward to that. I started those pricey Thakur girls but I stopped somewhere in between because I started falling into a reading slump while I was doing my masters and then I never picked it up again so I'm thinking about restarting it from the beginning and then adding it to my Indian lit readathon list. So this is going to be read in July, and then I have the e-book for Battle for Victoria by the same author, Anuja Johan, and that will hopefully also be read in July. That is not part of the nine books that I'm talking about, but this is the priority. Battle for Victoria is not. I was talking about Batman and I want to read that this year. It is, I think, the only book from the Blue Bookish bag that I have not read yet. So, the next book I want to read, I picked up on a sale quite some time back, but I haven't been in the right frame of mind to read it. The Hate You Give. I do want to really read it this year, finally. I hope to be in the right mental state to read The Hate You Give this year. So 2019, August, maybe September, we'll see how it goes. The next book was the first fairy look book, um, box I got had Skyward by Brandon Sar Sanderson. This is my first Brandon Sanderson book, so I do hope to read it in 2019, if not early 2020 is the aim because I've heard a lot of good things about his writing. He does do after, but he does have to match up to a lot of really good diverse authors that I love. So, but I have heard a lot of good things. Like I said, we'll see how it goes. The last book on my list is probably the book I've owned the longest. This was given to me by my father's dorm mother from university. We went to visit her when I was about 18 because I was looking into studying at my dad's alma mater in Oregon. I didn't end up going there but his dorm mother was really sweet. She took us out to a Barnes and Nobles and then she picked up Christmas presents for us even though we're not Christian but she had a really lovely, lovely aura about her and she 
was really sweet and I mean, she knew us for like two days but she knew she should get me a book she bought me she bought me Anathem by Neil Stevenson I did, do remember starting it but at the time I wasn't very much into adult literary fiction now however I do want to go back my camera card memory card is full so we have to go through and delete some of our older videos this is going to be a very shaky sign off i am very sorry but um before it cut i was asking if you had read any i was asking if you had read any of the books i mentioned in this video let me know your thoughts if you had are any of them on your tbr or do you have any books on your tbr that have been there for ages and that are actually on your shelves or in your e-reader and that you finally want to read this year. Let me know and I will see you soon. Until next time, bye!